Hey, thanks for checking out the Solid Verbal. Now would be a great time to subscribe to the channel for college football content all off season long. Penn State to me is fascinating this year. There is a lot of steam on Penn State going into 23, not just because of quarterback, not just because of the running back duo, but because Penn, Penn State, for all intents and purposes, is in a really good spot this coming season. Yeah. Um, obviously got to get over that hump, got to knock off both Ohio State and Michigan if you truly want to announce that you've arrived, which is sort of what we're waiting for with with James Franklin. But they're, they're in a really good spot. This recruiting class, 15th nationally, second in the Big Ten. If only because Michigan had, as you mentioned, um, you know, a class for other reasons that Mm -hmm. that wasn't as high as it normally is. But a particular focus this year for Penn State on defensive line and defensive back. Um, Not as many losses along that defensive line as I think might might jump out to you or as you might think in looking at this class. But um Certainly an area where they're trying to build depth. They're always deep up front. That's kind of their their calling card. Secondary, secondary, they obviously have some losses there as well that they need to address. I think they're trying to address that as best they can here through um through the recruiting game. They definitely need some help though out wide with wide receivers leaving. A big get was Dante Cephas, the transfer from Kent State. He's gonna help plug that gap. They've got a lot of second year guys that I think are going to step up um, and and eventually fill out that receiver room. But that remains, I think, something of an open question. Not a big, glaring, flashing red light or anything. They'll be fine. But you've got this hotshot quarterback and Drew Aller. You've got a great duo of running backs in Nick Singleton and Katron Allen. you got to be able to move the ball through the air, especially now that you've got both Mitchell Tinsley and Parker Washington going pro. Right. Right, so who's going to step up out there? Is it Cephas? Is it um, you know any any number of other guys? We'll we'll find that out. Carmelo Taylor is a four star from Virginia, who's smaller but just an absolute burner. Okay, who is a guy you could see stepping in and maybe giving them more of a vertical threat? How tall? Uh five ten. Okay, so maybe like jet action, maybe used as a. Uh, yeah. A decoy at times, but somebody who can sort of stress defenses in specific ways. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe a, a smaller type guy, but a definite burner, man. I great. Mean, he's got he's got great speed, and especially if Drew Aller's got the big arm mm-hmm. that so many folks are excited about, you could see them maybe utilizing Taylor in a way. Again, a four-star node for his speed. Not enrolling until summer, though, which you could see hurting a true freshman, but... Um, If he's got the speed and if he continues to rise once he gets to Penn State the way he rose throughout this recruiting class, you could see maybe there's a a role for him. And James Franklin doesn't have a type with receivers. Like he doesn't need a receiver to be 6'2". Doesn't need a receiver to be 6'4". I mean, both what Jahan Dotson and KJ Hamler were sub six feet and dominated Big Ten teams. That's right. That's right. So um, he's an interesting name that I that I could see Penn State fans potentially getting to know in some key spots throughout the course of the season when when they need a big play. Other names that that stand out, Elliot Washington, four-star defensive back, comes up from Florida. Mm-hmm. Could see him getting some time with the twos. Again, they it, much like the defensive line, Penn State is in a position with its defensive backfield where they have guys that they can plug and play with that are currently on the roster. They're not in need of a freshman to step up and plug a gap if they find that diamond in the rough who's good enough to step up and play with the ones then then obviously they're going to look at that but um for the time being having some depth especially at that cornerback spot defensive back as a whole um elliot washington the four stars a guy i could see maybe shouldering his way in and getting some time with the twos another interesting name just because penn state is is widely noted as linebacker you tony rojas at linebacker the four star from virginia He's in a much similar position as Elliot Washington, where it's not like Penn State needs Rojas to step up and fill a role as a starter at linebacker. They don't need that. They've got guys. They're they're plenty deep at linebacker. But um, if he is as good as advertised, you could see him getting some time with the twos, maybe finding his way onto the field in some packages. All right. Fair enough. By the way, there's a weird thing with... So do you remember it was... 
Who did James Franklin beef with early on? Was it Randy Edsel over no, recruiting talking, in Maryland? You talk about the dominate the state BS, yeah. Yeah. Penn State has six of the top ten players from the state of Virginia. Is that where Trace McSorley's from? It is. I yeah. want to say, yeah, yeah. It's from Trace yeah. McSorley's from. Uh, six of their absolute best recruits are from Virginia. It's, Penn St- it's Pennsylvania and Virginia. Penn State runs the old Dominion state of Virginia. Six yep. of the top ten. That's crazy. I didn't realize yep. it was that pronounced, has gotten to be that pronounced. They've been Penn State. they've been very, very solid at recruiting the mid Atlantic region. Yeah. Um, you know, I it, it's probably a stretch to say they've dominated the state of Pennsylvania. They've done a really good job in the state of Pennsylvania, as mm-hmm. any big in state power should. They've lost some guys to Ohio State. That's just the cost of doing business when the Buckeyes are next door, right? When Michigan well, it's also so when there's close. just so many good players in Pennsylvania year in, year out. Yeah. So, you know, they they've not gotten a perfect track record on that front but um to say the least they've done really well in the in the mid-atlantic region as evidenced here by you know what they did in virginia pulling um you know names over the course of uh the last i don't know five years now from really that entire region to penn state well you look at how down both virginia and virginia tech have been now recently james franklin all too happy to just go in and clear out the final Final note I'll add on Penn State is that sure. um, I am going to have to try very, very hard to tamper. I was going to say, you're going to uh, steal yourself? Yeah. Tam- tamper is the wrong word. To temper my temper. excitement when it comes to Penn State this coming season. I feel very hopeful. Okay. About 23. Great. Love it.